Good day guys, once again, bubbles will not start. So I think the battery is going. But we get the booster pack. We're gonna try and get her going. Stay tuned. that a battery is going to be the demise of bubbles. Norfin. Well. What are we going to do? I suppose we could bring the shop truck over and try boosting it with the booster cables, but doesn't have any juice coming out of that booster pack, so. Well, we got dinging this time, boys. Music to my ears. So all that was wrong with it was this just needed to be reset for some reason. We'll bring her inside, get the uh, charger on it. hoping the demise of this thing would be a little more exciting than, uh, than a dead battery. But stay tuned for that. Well there, we got her on uh, 12 amp. Uh, we'll leave her for a couple hours and see how she makes out. So in this video guys, what we're gonna be doing is we were going to be giving you the six month update on the ceramic coating on my wife's Veloster. So stay tuned. So what a nice day it is today, it's Friday afternoon. I'm going to head up to my wife's work and pick up her car so that we can do this review on the ceramic coating. So let's take a drive to the industrial part. Oh, but not before I grab the keys to the shop truck. Remote doesn't work very well. Well, there she sits. One great big salt lick all over again. Let's go to the shop. Not too often I get to drive my wife's car, but when I do, man oh man, she's fine. So I just noticed that in front of me is an old co-worker of mine. I wonder if Adam wants to race today. Want to find out? <laughs> Woo! Man, this thing hauls. Miles for miles, boys. So we just wanted to give a quick update on the ceramic coating that we put on this. This was the Mr. 9HX something or other. I'll put that uh, link in the description below. But before we get started on it, I wanted to give you an idea of how well it beads with all this salt and crap on the car. So as you can see, the leading edge of the hood has quite a bit of salt on it. I'm gonna get Junior to spray it and we'll see how she bubbles. Go ahead, Junior.
And even with all that salt on there, it still seems to uh, bubble up pretty good. So let's get her washed up and then we'll try her again. So now that we've got the vehicle washed, you can see how well this thing has beaded up. And you can also see when I come around to the side where the ceramic coating actually stopped. You can see that I overlap a little bit right there. The fender's not been done, but the hood has been done. So the Mr. Fix 9H is what the ceramic coating is called that I used on this car. I would have to give it definitely a two thumbs up for uh, the uh, way it's been lasting. We did this back six months ago and the hood is still beating. So I think what we're gonna do in a upcoming video maybe or just sometime down the road is we're gonna finish the rest of the car and get that done. So as I said in the three month update, I would definitely recommend this product. The cost of it is very minimal and the uh, way it lasts is just outstanding compared to a regular wax. The process itself isn't much different than putting regular wax on and uh, it comes off very easy. The process itself is very easy. If you did not see the very first episode where I installed it, I am going to put that right up here so that you can go back and take a look and see how that went on. So, you know, like I said, the cost is very minimal. Uh, the process is very minimal and the way that it lasts for such a long time is, uh, is unbelievable. So I would definitely recommend that. We will continue with our updates. I think what I'll do is I will go with a nine month. So in three more months, we will do another update on it and just see how it was working with that hood. And, uh, and we'll go from there. If you guys ever have the opportunity to check out Mr. Fix 9H, I will put that link in the description box below so you guys can go take a look at that. And if you want, make a purchase, do it. Follow the instructions just like I did in my video and you should be all set. Also, you can see behind me, the 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan is sold. Yay. And with that sale, we took in on trade a 2008 Hyundai Sonata, GLS Limited with leather, sunroof, all the goodies. Very, very nice car. And uh, that would make a great addition to the lot in the very near future. Uh, it's not quite ready to go. We, part of the deal was she wanted a remote start installed on the vehicle. So it is going out on Tuesday to get that done. She'll pick it up after that. Guys, in the description box, there are four links that I want you to check out. The first one is bonfire.com. You can get your very own Old Car Auto Guy merchandise. T-shirts and hoodies are on sale there. That's one more way you can help support this channel. Other than watching, you can wear some Old Car Auto Guy merch. The second description is a link to Straight Six Fan's YouTube page. Straight Six Fan and I host a Thursday live feed for small YouTube channels, automotive YouTube channels and we talk a little bit about automotive news, some of the ticks, tick, tip, can't remember, some of the tips and tricks to uh, success of a YouTube channel. We're both trying to do this to reach 1,000 subscribers, and we're trying to help all of you guys who watch this as well with your YouTube channels get there too. So the third link is my Patreon. If you want to support this channel and see a, little more, see a few more projects like Project Bubbles uh, and some of the antics that we do with that vehicle, well, we want to do more and uh, we can't do it without some support from you guys. So if you guys wanna become a Patreon uh, to this channel, you can uh, do that with the third link in the description box below. And last but not least, if you are a YouTuber and you are a creator and you want to succeed in YouTube creating with a little more ease, check out TubeBuddy. It is my affiliate link to TubeBuddy. You can go there and get some of those helpful hints and tips that I use such as tagging and thumbnails and all that good stuff to help better succeed with your YouTube channel. Guys, I end every video by saying this. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again, really soon. Hey.